This prolonged heat wave is dangerous. Absolutely, especially now with the added humidity, which Bo was just talking about. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl joins us with an update on how hospitals are dealing with heat related illnesses. Yeah, lots going on, guys. You know, you can feel it, the blanket of oppressive air covering the region just by going outside, spending any amount of time. Well, one South Jersey hospital is ready to help people who are overcome by the heat. But it works very, very effectively. Uh, if you can pack them in ice. This is one of the ways people overcome by heat are cooled down in the emergency department, wrapped in plastic and covered in ice. It works very, very effectively. How long does it take to cool somebody off in a bag like this? So if their temp's 110, say, we can get them down within half hour. Dr. Albert Sacchetti with Virtua, Our Lady of Lords Hospital in Camden says so far there haven't been that many heat emergency patients, but that's expected to change. As this thing progresses, we are likely to see a little bit more of, of a um, uh, an increase in these folks with heat related emergencies. The emergency department is equipped with plenty of IV solutions to treat dehydration and fans. Another way to cool patients is spraying them with water and turning on the fans. And the fans will evaporate that water very quickly. And that evaporation simulates what you do when you're sweating. And we can drop their temperatures very, very quickly with that. The air quality alert that's now in effect will be especially dangerous for people with respiratory issues. Their oxygen levels begin to drop, their carbon dioxide levels begin to rise, and that's where they get into trouble. Dr. Sacchetti says ozone that irritates the lungs can also be harmful for heart patients. And for people working outside, like the hospital's valet group, it's downright miserable. It's terrible for me. I'm not a heat person. Right. Yeah, it's hot. That was Charles Roberts. He said he went inside to cool off as much as possible, which is a good idea. Doctors say it is important to take breaks from being outside in the heat as much as possible. And of course, drink lots of water even before you're thirsty or feel like you need it. You can't overhydrate in this kind of heat. You really need to drink a Absolutely. lot. Yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh. Stephanie.